Greetings and welcome everyone, Dave here, and today I'm going to do another one of the Let's Plays on Total War Warhammer 2, and this one is going to be with the Legendary Lord, which is part of the free update, French Craven Tail, the unique free Legendary Lord, which was part of the update, as well as the release of the Tomb Kings. Now, French Craven Tail... It's quite unique for Skaven, as he can only inhabit the frozen wastelands of the north. He cannot go anywhere nice and warm like any jungles, because that's unpleasant for him. He has public order bonuses when you break a treaty. He has increased ambush attack when in ambushing. He has increased attack after running away when attacked. And he allows all his units to have vanguard deployment. This is the Scavia Skaven Skaven in the Skaven Rosca for Legendary Lords. He starts with some Doom Wheels! There are never enough Doom Wheels, lad! Yes, yes, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He has some Death Runners, which are going to be absolutely awesome from which can through enemy armor, and some Storm Firming swords and shields to hold the line. So let us get into this campaign with Trench Cravendale. Yes, most 
threat has snuck sneak into health things lands undetected. Lucky, maybe, but I take credit glory, yes, yes. Elf things to the east, don't know I'm here, here. Kill, slay them, and find warp stone. More horrible brain elf things to the south. Rumors of huge warp stone deposits here, here too. Take steel, Nagarok, and the vortex for Clan Rickers. Then Council will have seat for Grand Chieftain of the Deep Warrens. Yes, yes! Okay, he's a bit skittery. We all know how to escape and play by now. Um, they have unique food, loyalty, and of course their own corruption. Catch an occupied settlement belonging to the fallen faction, the Forge Bound. Ooh, okay. Lovely jubbly. First of all, let's go to my home province. See what we got there. So we got Clamp it. I'll build that for now to get more guys in. We'll go with the growth building. Whatever units does my it says two store vermin. Nice. Some save well, meat shield. Okay, meh, meh. So, three meat shield units and four good ones. Not too bad. Now, our nearest settlements are over here. You need to have 25% for ambush. Which, of course, is this little chap's speciality? Going to proper ambush down. Let's have a quick look at his skills before I end the turn because obviously I can't do any research or do any um, rights yet. Let's see, he has income from raiding. That's quite good actually. Invasion in the underway. Mist resistance for climax and store from you very useful. Stay here, get help. Okay. Oh, and casualty replenishment rate. Very nice. Normal sort of main lord bits for his thing. Yeah, trophy heads. Uh, one. Item, what's this? Life is cheap, more casualty replenishment, upkeep cost reduction, and armor for Skaven slaves. Well, the replenishment is probably the best thing there. Sneaky Trixie, Warpstone weapon. Definitely think going for his blue line for the um, increased lo looting, well, increased ambush, and that. Definitely get Quartermaster, Minor Mind, and Renowned and Feared. Then I'll figure out what to do from there. But that's enough of that. And the turn. Just a reminder for those who have not seen me do any Let's Plays before, that I'm not the best Total War Warhammer player. No, but not the best Total Warhammer player. There is. So there will probably be a lot of um, bad things happening to my units. And just to say, this is part of my fun series, so I'm just doing this for, well, fun. Oh, they're going to attack. Ah, oh, my ambush has failed. No. But, we'll still fight this. Looks like their most dangerous unit are the Dark Shards. Yeah. For... Obviously, that armor piercing missile damage that they do. Hmm. 
Right, so I have Vanguard deployment. They've got a little camp there and they're all on that hand side as well. Thank you. Being able to go and do it, sir. It's a fun thing. Man the flank. A quick gander at you, shall we, Mr. Spencer Gavendale? Oh, I like your weapon. The little claw thing, the spear with all the little, little jelly little bits. And you a happy little ratty. Of course, we have the. Death Runners, very, very good anti armor unit. Gaven Slaves, they probably won't be allowed for long. Same with them one. So, uh, really trying to take care of my Storm Vermin. And of course, there are never enough to. Where, where's my Doom Wheel from? There he is, he's in tree. There he is. Oh, Doom Wheel. You're gonna be so good. No, enough playing around with the uh, bits like that. Let's get going. Let's try and take out them. Get around the flanks. Get on the flanks. Keep moving. Ooh, what's he got here? Ah, so get some um, boost, but no um menace from below. I've noticed. Move forward, forward, forward. Stalky unit. No archers are just about to explore the fern of a doom wheel to their flank. That's why the archers run, run away. Oh, yeah, <laughs> doom wheel. Back here, we've got this unit, dress spears, and this unit. The spears not really having a good time. And the big, big source, please, archers. Bench oh. over there, please. Yeah, keep keep chasing down those dark shards, please. Parlin, Parlin. Don't let him get away. Bench. After their uh, lord, please. Let my infantry sort out the uh... Lackey, shall we say? Took up one unit completely gone. This unit is going, going, going. This unit is going to find what it's like to have a doom wheel. I'm supposed to get them to give my lord a hand. Swords. Ready, ready. <laughs> yeah. Scaven spears. That's what pile in as well.
Oh, you missed. He's there. That's it. Pearl on him. Bye I? Nice. I like that. Let's end the battle there. It's got to be a decisive victory. Well, at least a victory. It is that. Ha ha ha. 56 kills for my Doom Reel in the end, 75 for my Death Bonus, 84 and 82 for the uh, Storm Bonus, so yes! Played a little bit better, but I did go right after their range units, you know, so they didn't, well, pepper me to death with the uh, Varrows, so uh, yes. Here's a decisive victory. Food gained. Loot. And experience. Lovely. We're gonna eat cactus for the replenishment. If I want to take the turn. Nice. Two siege towers per turn. If I ever do a proper siege. Upgrade the growth building is what we should do. Root Marjar, because I'm definitely going to go through this blue line. Can we reach them? We can. Oh, we go to the Crystal Glade. Let's get him out first away. After the stuff? Yeah, after the Yeah, more, more, more of that. We can put a little bit of replenishment. And we'll go, what? Clean cost. Ambush success challenge. Definitely ambush success challenge for this little ratty. Quick in turn. Did you are a little trench? Take you out of encampment to do your normal stance. Can you 
can you even reach there in one turn? No, you can't. Move your tails. I've gone too far now for um, ambush or raiding. Or revengement. I find that once I claim the Twisted Blade, that will be uh, my own province. Nothing like a cup of tea. Are you playing some games? I do like my tea. Tea is good. <sighs> Yay! Right. Christy Glade, you shall be mine. Ooh! Right, okay. We'll have to fight this one. Get going. Interesting. Right, now let us get our guys. Little health things. Oh, I love Vanguard deployment. Don't want you running away. Alright, guys. Let's go. Infantry forward. On the side. Can you focus fire? Into the command unit. Bench where you from there. Doom wheel around the back. Why was this not in my favor? And into them, please, my good little doom wheel. Bank up! Not much of a uh, charge, but it will do. Get the menace to blow up into them. I'm firing at me. Zoom wheel forward, please. French forward. Well, that was nowhere near as hard as apparently the auto resolve was giving us credit for. Very, very good battle. Auto resolve is no. What is this? 24? No? 44 with the, uh, the nice little death there. 29, 39, 34, for the storm coming. Trin's got nothing today. Yes, game slaves. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh. Indeed you are. More food? Yes, look at that. Loot gained, yes. And, ooh, a Tasman, a Dragonbane gem. That's a level up. Now, I don't 
do I have the food to go any higher? Not really, so I'm going to have to just... Occupy. Oh, so it's fire resistance. Oh, so nice. Warpstone and treasury. Nice. Gotta do the province. More ancient cunning, please. Ah, yes, of course, I got the um, clan rats now. So we'll get some clan rats, spears with shields, to make a bit more of a front lane, I believe. Yeah, if we prepare that and then build this up to level, well, 2 over here, because I should have enough growth. Yeah, I should have enough growth to upgrade that next turn. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Obviously get my clan rats with spears uh, now, because <laughs> I need them. I have the capital for more like the higher tier builders and stuff like that that need level 5s. Now these outer segments can be for like um, level three buildings and stuff like that. Growth is always unnecessary. Need more growth? All the growth. Plus five percent to the Skaven corruption at the moment. Woohoo! Skaven corruption. It's everywhere. And when I do have enough money for another army, I'm going to recruit myself another lord. And he might be named after something. I'll have to see. Ah, wants me to build a nest layer. First of all, normal layer, please. That should take three turns. There's this province end. Eh. Up there, so plenty of space. Now, come on, come on. Yeah, so I can move myself to there. Still get the uh, replenishment. And I'm going to get myself some normal clan rats to help bolster my front line. And then the monoliths shall be ours. Claim it for their hand god. Why am I going Scottish? I have no idea if that was Scottish or not. I just went a weird, weird way. Oh, they're coming to meet me. Well, I'm going to retreat. That's a good Skaven. Means I didn't get me uh, the clan rats. But soon. Soon. Sagegus. is not here yet. I've got enough money for the Lord Sagegus. Move a little further. Put myself into encampment stance. Try again with the clan rats. Clan rats. Never enough clan rats. Oh wow, six turns. Right, I might as well destroy that. For now. I can always build it up again later.
Right, let's try to actually... Ooh, no, hang on. What have they got? They got... Black Eye Corsairs. Dark Shards. I do have two minutes from below. Yeah, let's do this. Got a nice little boost because I'm in encampment stance for leadership. Right, so that is that. A bit loaded up now. We have obviously a nice front line there. Yes, yeah, slingers, they'll just. Well, do stuff, I suppose. Death runners, let us have you a little further over here. Doom wheel! Let's have you flanking around the back. Alright, let's go! Forward! Forward! And slingers! Get slinging. Come on, doing well. Death runners. Death runners in from the side, please. Menace from below, disrupt their range units. Come on, Doom Wheel! I said Death Runners, good Death Runners. Doom, Doom Wheel, you, you're completely missed. After the Lord. That's it, Doom Wheel. That's it. Good, Doom Wheel. Take out the range units. Good, Doom Wheel. That's what I want you to do. There's my Doom Wheel. Menace from below, into the Black Ops Corsairs with Hambos. Get in there. That's it, Doom Wheel. Take out those Dark Shards. There go the skates and slaves! I know, those are... Flamats. Come on, slingers. Come on, guys. Suppose I better get my team wheel over here. Away from the, uh... Spears. Wheel, not a horse. That's it, into the back. And after the black corsairs with handbows, please. Thank you. Stephanus. Did I tell you you could disengage? No. Back down there, please, Doom Wheel. Thank you. That's it, Slingers. Keep peppering them. Keep peppering them. Death Runners! Let's get a 
The death one is good. Doing well, help out over here now, please. Thank you. Oh, mass break, mass break is coming, mass break is coming. That's it, after the units, death runners. Good, there's the victory. Right, end the battle there. Close victory, apparently. But hey, what are you going to do? Much better with control with the Doom Wheel that time, getting 139 kills. 85 with the um, Death Runners. 74 and 73 with the Storm Vermin. So using them a lot better as well. Get definitely the flanking and the rear charges with the um, Doom Wheel. Need to try to do a bit more of that. A bit more of a rear charge next time with the Death Runners as well to get that morale, uh, morale drop. That's a close victory. More food. Loot. Oh. And oh, a banner. Banner of various scurrier. Anyway, we'll take the replenishment. And they can't go back into the settlement. Should make them good for a uh, little ambush, I think. <laughs> Does I get a replenishment from being in my own territory and the encampment stance? Should make me. I stab, attack, back. No defense, but speed. Hmm. Nee. Nee. Don't know. Don't know about that one, I'll have it obviously for now. Finally boost up Ancient Cunning, cunning to max level. Then if everyone at full health. It's an ambush. I suppose I should put that onto the Doom Wheel, giving the Doom Wheel a lot more speed. But that is an auto resolve. Building that auto resolve. Execute. Don't know for this one. Um, good, good. Yeah, let's take the food. Answer to me, me. And we got Lord of Druki. More leadership when fighting against Dark Elves. Woohoo! Put myself yes, yes. into it in camp stance. And we'll go for. Recruitment cost or life is cheap. We'll get the catch to replenishment, I think. Lovely. And that is where I'm going to wrap things up for this first part. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you do, make sure you comment, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. And until the next one, stay with his rats, skittering, scurrying, scurrying along.